Hey everyone, it is good to be back, and it is Tuesday, so that means it is a lot of news time, right? We got some Messiah stuff, well, the rest of the Messiah stuff, because uh, it's coming out, like, next week. But we also have some more History Collection news, which has kind of a huge impact on the metagame. So let's kind of get started with the Messiah stuff, because, you know, it's cool. It's cool, right? So first we have the Astrolabe Dragon. This is a Generation Break 2 effect, so uh, during your turn, if any player has a lock card, the shooter gets plus 10k power, so that's pretty average but the second effect is actually pretty good so uh when this card is discarded from stride from a hand for the cost of stride draw a card so pretty much free stride the first effect is actually kind of relevant with another card so we'll kind of talk about that later but let's kind of continue uh ne next we have is the herbig claw so uh this is on the, on the guardian circle if you have a vanguard with messiah in its card name this unit gets shield plus 5000 and the second effect is on the rear guard circle when your other unit is unlocked you may put this unit into your soul so I know people were talking about the Mikani buyout recently because, you know, when people saw the the uh, the last week's cards, like, oh, we need soul. So let's buy out all the Mikani's because that gives like two soul for one card. Uh, this one is gives you like one soul, but it has a secondary effect that is really relevant because 10k shields in D is just really, really good. So I think it, it'll be really interesting to see who, what people take. Maybe they'll take both. Maybe they'll take a mix, right? But, you know, you're, you're trading for, like, 10k shields versus a, a one-card, two-soul thing. And I think it just comes down to how people test and go, like, how important is that extra soul, right? Uh, then the next card we have is Calendar Klein. This is actually the card that is really, really important and makes kind of the whole uh, whole deck work, right? So, Con, Regard Circle. During a turn, if any player has a log card, this unit gets power plus 5,000, so pretty simple. The second effect, uh, auto regard circle at the end of the battle that this unit attacked. If you have an ultra ego messiah crest, uh, retire retire this unit, which is a cost. Uh, look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose up to one unit card with grade equal to or less than your vanguard from among them. Put it on an open regard circle as a lock card, and then put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So basically. You know, last week I was talking about we need another card that kind of locks in the in the front row to make like multi attacks. So, so like ideally you want to have you don't want a, an entire deck to be just uh, kind of based on one card enabling you to do more than three attacks, right? Which is what Arrestor was doing. Um, but this one is your second card, and this is kind of unique in that it gets another card and puts it on the as locked. So ideally the Astrolabe suddenly becomes pretty good. Because you, uh, you, you, it's a big beater, right? It's a big beater. And then you can kind of unlock and get multi-attacks. And then with this, you can also get up to five attacks under a crest, which is really, really strong too. So, yeah, I feel like this this kind of just makes everything work. And the fact is that it doesn't require Cattle Blast or Soul. So, pretty big, right? Pretty big. Next effect we have is the Destiny Dealer. This is similar to the, uh, the, the Steam Wrath Dragon. So, on the hand, when you're paying for the cost of Stride, this is... Discard as a grade three, right? And the second one is just if you have an alter ego beside crest, discard this card to your deck or drop for up to one grade three card besides card name, right? So just straight up grab it, pretty easy. Now the last card we have here is Sacrifice Messiah. So order regard circle GB1. Uh, at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, if you have a Vanguard with Messiah in its card name, lock this unit, choose one of your Vanguards and gets power plus 5,000 till the end of turn. And if you have no face up cards in your damage zone, counter charge one. So, hey, it's pretty much like the old, well, kind of like a nerf version of this old Sacrifice Messiah. This basically kind of allows you to just have no CB problems in a way, or, you know, just less CB issues, let's put it like that. Uh, and then, I guess the, the Vanguard power boost is like, alright, but not really that relevant. But yeah, you unlock it, and then you can get another attack. So, that's pretty good, right? That's pretty good. But let's kind of look at the history collection buffs, right? So here we have what is getting reprinted in history collection. Uh, you're getting the striders that are getting reprinted, so the, you know the alt models and all that. Uh, you might be like, oh, why are they reprinting that? That seems pretty pretty average. No one's ever gonna run them. Uh, yeah. Uh, next, they're also gonna reprint G Guardians. Also, some support cards. I don't really know what these support cards are gonna be. Uh, reading this is called this card is morning timer 
I don't think I've seen anyone ever play this, even back in, in like, a G era, right? But this was a PR. So maybe they're reprinting, like, old support card PRs. So I think, you know, the Link Joker, there was a PR. The, the girl that unlocked stuff, that was pretty relevant. So if they're reprinting that, that could be really, really good. And then they're printing uh, grade threes that aren't VRs. So you look at here, it's Giraffa. Right, it's not a VR, so they can reprint that. But let's kind of talk about the big news, right? So, the Strider is getting reprint. Why are we reprinting the Striders? Uh, that well, let's kind of take a look at the 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 uh, the updated crit, right? Because we saw this last week, and this is the full effect, and it's basically revealed. So I think last week they did a kind of misprint on one of the slides, but you they are giving plus 10k power now, and it has a 15k shield. So very very cool. But the secondary effect that is added onto these uh, these cards now is that when this card uh, gets damage checked, you draw a card. So it's exactly like Vanguard Zero, right? Uh, this might make players want to run more crits in their decks versus running draw draw nulls. Kind of, it, it gives you the option, right? It gives you the option, um, but we'll see. We'll see. But the main it, the main thing here is this new Gablade, right? So they mentioned last week that Gablade, Gablade and all the similar uh, first stride cards from way back are getting updated effects. And uh, wow, these updated effects are pretty crazy. So they've added on this new skill, right? It's, it's act in the G zone. I don't know, can we zoom in on this? But yeah, act in the G zone. If your Vanguard is a grade three uh, specific Ultima, right? It's the... Uh, the Strider Ultima that we saw before. This one. Basically this one, right? Uh, can't be any, anything else. And for this fight, if you have not gotten any imaginary gifts, you discard cards equal to grade 3 or higher. So it's pretty much a stride, right? You can discard like, you know, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 3. I don't know why you discard 1 plus 3. Um, and then you stride this unit on the Vanguard Circle. Furthermore, if uh, you, un you can unflip a card with the same name as this card and then you get two imaginary gift forces so that's a that's pretty strong right that's pretty strong do know that it doesn't require your opponent to be on grade three right if you run that old strider that that old outdated card you can stride immediately and get two imaginary gift force um yeah pretty good pretty good uh, also, it has a, a continuous effect now, which is, uh, you know, when this unit doesn't hit, right, it hits, basically, right? Uh, yeah, it just, it just, it just hit. It just, like, basically, the second, the last skill, that last old skill that really was pretty average back then, will now always go off. So, um, pretty, pretty strong, right? Pretty strong. This is actually getting updated to every every one of those old strides. So yeah, if you look here as well, the every every clan is getting their uh, kind of Gablade clone. That first stride is getting a similar treatment. Uh, we don't exactly know what is going to happen, but we can kind of assume that everyone is getting that double imaginary gift thing if you, you know, stride on that old strider. So Excel seems pretty good too, right? You get two Excels. Uh, protect not so much, right? Protect not so much. Um, this actually is pretty, pretty big for, uh, for premium because it makes you have to choose between running this old, really bad strider in a, in order to like go first and then just like steamroll your opponent by getting a bunch of, uh, markers, right? Because like getting two force markers just puts you so ahead of your opponent or like two gifts that might not be protect. This kind of puts you so ahead of your opponent. I guess, like, clans, which have a, a shitty, well, not a sh well, a bad, right, first stride, will not be that great. Like, I don't know, like, Dark Irregulars. I don't, I don't know what you do, right? It's, like, Shaharat feels feels average, you know? Uh, Grand Blue might finally get a f good first stride, or maybe not, right? Like, I, I mean, first stride used to just go into Obadiah. Like fat Obadiah and get get some cards. Now you get two protect markers and activate GB. That might make things relevant. This this does make like activating 
like GB very easy because you know you can run more GB cards in the deck and now you have a better way of activating them because you can just go first and then just uh, activate it uh, versus ride downs right if someone rides down you just you just try it and like wreck them right so feels pretty good decks that like don't really rely on having a good Vanguard suddenly become better so you know time leap becomes good again uh, so yeah feels like uh, there's there, there could be could be a lot of changes going to the format. I don't know if it's for good or not, though. Right? When you think about what could happen, you know, getting just two force markers shoot up like that, unlocking pretty much GB2 immediately, right? And then, like, just styling your opponent feels... It, it could be pretty... Pretty game-breaking, right? Pretty game-breaking, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. Yeah. Bit, bit mixed for me. Bit mixed for me. Uh, what this also means, though, is that we are we not getting like more support for V and maybe even premium later on uh, because this set doesn't look like it's like reprinting important G units. It, let's say you want to play a Pale Moon deck in like Japan. How do you play it, right? Sure, you can stride this whatever stride, this good blade clone, right? But how are you getting your uh, Dark Lord princesses, which are really expensive? will seem quite expensive and very low quantity. Uh, this doesn't really like stop like uh, support that or like help with that. So I think it'll be interesting to see what else. This set is pretty huge though. So I could be wrong, right? I could be wrong. Maybe they're going to do more. Um, but yeah, that remains to be seen. Uh, lastly, they are doing a bunch of reprints and collabs. So if you look here, I think there's a Bang Dream collab, right? in set 10 so you're getting a bunch of crits at least in japan or triggers which are from bang dreams so that's pretty cool and then lastly there's a pr pack in uh deluxe the, the tournaments which are fr packs which you get a bunch of triggers in fr form most importantly you get these effect triggers with a special art on them and um yeah it's just kind of like an extra it's like their Japan's way of reprinting effect triggers and lowering the price. Uh, you can't run like eight effect triggers because these do gain the name of the uh, of the original card. But yeah, this is like these are effect triggers pretty much. So the price might go down, right? The price might go down for them. I don't know, right? You know, we saw the ca that Korean premium collection. Uh, Print well box which has basically all the PRs reprinted and effect triggers that seems pretty good wouldn't mind having that you know so yeah uh, let me know what you guys think about the history collection I think it's pretty pretty game changing Masai deck looks really really strong now uh, and yeah let me know in the comments what you think I'll see you all later all right bye. <laughs>